Joe, it's been such a grind every game the whole year. What's it like to sit through a game like this where you guys have a lead early and just coast, basically? Yeah, it was really nice, especially when we really started to expand on the lead. Um, and you start, you know, you start thinking ahead a little bit, and you're watching the scoreboard the other game. And um, it's nice because you can relax for a second, and we have not been able to do that, you know, for a long time. I think you're up 10 runs at the point where that score goes on the scoreboard and the place erupts. What's that feeling for you knowing that? Mm. Whatever happens here, you guys won the division. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling, um, you know, because it has been a grind and it has not been an easy season. And you look at some of the injuries that we went through, some of the up and downs, um, you know, you would have never thought we won 95 games. But we ended up with the best record in the American League, um, and that's not easy. And we had a tough schedule, um, and it's really rewarding. These guys did a tremendous job, and it was not just a few guys. It was a number, a number of guys. That's all right, Wally. We'll do without the mic. Go ahead. No, um, because, you know, we started to get healthier. We started to get people back, and we have an experienced group in there. And, you know, everyone talked about the 10-game the lead and how it dwindled down and, and – you know, were we going to be okay, and were we going to make the playoffs? And no one ever panicked. We just kept working, and we kept finding ways to win some games, some great come-from-behind games we won. Um, you, know, you think about the game that we won in Tampa at the beginning of that 10-day road trip, and then we have one here against Oakland, and we have another one last night. We have the one against Toronto, and our guys just never quit. Well, I was concerned about our health. And, you know, it seemed like whenever, you know, we get someone back, we'd lose someone. And then we had Jeet struggling with his ankle and just a number of things that just quite weren't going our way um, from a physical standpoint. And it was a concern. Um, but we had a lot of people step up for us this year. Um, a lot of people that, you know, we, I mean, you think about a guy like Cody Epley. He was, I never saw him in spring training. <laughs> And you think about the important outs that he got for us. And a guy like Clay Rapata, um, big outs. And Booney was asked to step up. And, and you look at the job that Sori did when Mo went down. And you know, the job that Chavi and Nixie did filling in for Alex. It just, it's one after another. Jeff, right behind Wally. Congratulations, Joe. I Thank know you, you said uh, your focus was always on today's game and, and tried not to pay attention to the standings. But now when you look back, what does it what does it say about the team that you guys never gave up first place throughout the whole ordeal? They're a very resilient group um, that takes pride in what they do and are used to winning and they expect to win. And it's not easy to do what these guys did. You know, I, don't know, I think sometimes we take for granted because there's been so much success here over the last 20 years. But this is a grind. I mean, it's hard to win 95 games in our division. And you know, you look at the schedule that we had and the interleague schedule that we had. And these guys just expect to win. Dave. Joe, I'm sure a lot of guys can use some rest, but the Ooh. way but the way Robbie's swinging it, do you wish he didn't have to wait so long yeah. to get in there again? But there's about five or six other guys that could probably really use some rest, so we'll, we'll take that trade off. But, I mean, he came up big these, these last two weeks for us. Him and Swish were huge for us. Ichiro, G, just a number of guys just really had great um, final two weeks of the season. Mark. Joe, we all know about the preparation you guys put in for series coming up. How strange is it for you that you're not going to know which team you're playing until about midnight on Friday? And is that is that a tougher thing for you to deal with, knowing you have to go on the road and there's really a short turnaround? Yeah, there? I mean, it is strange. I was talking about it a little bit on the bench. Like, it's it's just an odd year because of, you know, we added the extra wild card team and, uh, and not everything was really ready to go, I think, with the TV schedule. And, and to have the best record and um, not know where you're going is really strange. Dave and Sweeney. And not being at home. <laughs> Joe, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I know there's just one, one hurdle you've cleared so far, but can you tell me the, the mere fact that you've overcome all the injuries and maybe a lack of production from the guys you counted on to put up big numbers for you, what personal satisfaction do you get in shepherding these guys all the way to 95 in the top seat? Um, What's it say actually about you if you can even uh, handle a question like that? I, I got a great group of guys in there. I mean, that's what it says. I got a great group of guys that, you know, expect to win um, and talk about going to get it, um, not letting it come to go get it. And that's what they did. They went and got this division. Um, 
during some really tough circumstances. So what it says about me, um, I, I don't know. You know that I have a feisty side of me. That says one thing about me, and everyone's seen that. But for the most part, I am try to be even keel for those guys. Sweeney. Joe, in the, in the games that your team loses, a lot of times you look like an old team. Correct. How much does the experience side of that pay off for you, especially in that last month? I think a lot. The guys have been through so many playoff games that every day is, is kind of like every series is like a playoff series. And I think it, um, you know, I, I don't know what our lead was September 1st. I'm, I'm not even sure. But I know for a long time it was 1 or 0, 1 or 0 for a long time. And I think having that experience in there, they, when it got to 0, no one panicked. They just said, okay, and they had the same personality every day. You know, the looseness. Um, some, of, some of the guys are a little goofy, which I think is really a good thing. Um, and it just says that experience pays off.